Uh, oh, do you want to continue? Or? Yeah, I want to okay. Because I find your point interesting, but okay. I, I don't understand it or I disagree with No, look, look, look. What we say is, as human beings, we are emotional and rational beings, correct? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, the beauty about Islam is, Islam aligns your sound intellect with your natural inclination. That's the reason why the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said in a hadith that every child is born in a state of fitr, fitra, in a state of inclining towards believing there's the creator. But his parents make him a Jew or a Christian, right? So from the fitra, everything that you see here, you know there has to be originator. The ground, our own existence, the trees, the grass, everything, the universe, everything, you know there's a beginning. If I was to ask you, this bottle here, can you say this bottle come from nothing? But you're saying, no, so like say the thing that you said, if you yeah. drop your cup on the floor, is it going to become a frog by running? Okay. That's not how it works, right? That's not how it happens. It's not, that's what I was saying before, it's not an instantaneous, it's a process, it's not instantaneous. So are you saying, are you saying, are you saying there's a possibility that if I drop this cup, it'll become a frog? No, but I'm saying, okay, let me, let me use your example. I don't like your example, but I'll use your example. No, why not? You, no, no, why not? Wait, wait. You say, okay, go on, go on, okay, sorry. So you drop the cup on the floor. Yeah. Over thousands and thousands of years, that cup will degrade, and eventually, one particle, one atom from that cup may end so up. So speculation. So speculation. Okay, so speculation. Let's talk about things that we are certain. Let's so talk about things that we know. What you, what no, no, no. What's the okay? What, what what's the speculation that I'm saying that everything that we experience, we know there's a beginning, and if there's a beginning, there has to be explanation of why it begins. How is, how is it there has any, to be the creator. How is it any less likely that we evolved from randomness that there was somebody in the Let's sky understand. That let's in, let's understand evolution. Evolution basically means a transformation from one state to another. Not necessarily. Yes, it does. Ev look, look, can evolution is evolution? One state from okay, can I ask you a question? Right. Does evolution say nothing can pop into something? It doesn't say that. Evolution just says something into something, not nothing into something. So we are so we are addressing the origin, not the evolution. Please, I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that, right? We're not talking about evolution. We're talk no, we are, I'm talking about evolution. By the way, we're Charles Darwin. Yeah. Right? yeah. We're talking about the origin of people. Yeah. We're talking about the origin of people specifically. Origin of our existence. Okay, so then, okay, in that case. I need to look into this more to be honest. Okay, no problem. But no problem. I've, I've but you know, but you know, but you know from your natural inclination that everything that you see around here, you say there must be a creator. There no, must be creator no, behind. No, 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 I disagree with that. But, so you, so you're saying this camera here, what, this pop from nothing? Okay, no, 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 man-made things obviously were created by I, 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 everything. So what's more complex, the man-made or the, or nature, or the universe? Nature. There's also been right. a huge space of time, and so there's, there's the universe is potentially infinite, right? Right. No, no you're saying you potentially get, infinite. Uh, I'm sure you've heard this analogy before. Yeah, I have. If you get, a bunch of, if you get an infinite number of monkeys for an infinite amount of time, eventually, at a typewriter, yeah. eventually one of those monkeys will type out the Do you know what? You contradict yourself in your analogy, because you said infinite number. Number, oh, hang on, hang on. It, number, infinite amount. Infinite, even amount. Okay, infinite meaning forever. Numbers is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, 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 so I, exactly. So I'm asking where, do, okay. So infinity doesn't quantify. Exactly, so you cannot say infinite number, or infinite amount. If you get infinite monkeys. No, not even monkeys. Because, because it can't happen in real life. That, that, go on. For the sake of the argument, if you were to get an infinite amount of monkeys, you can't say amount. You can't say amount. You can't. Look, look, infinity has no numbers. Infinity is forever. Infinity, yes. Yeah, so infinity is one going up to infinity. No. Yes, it, no this is, this okay, is, so where did the one come from? You said one. No. Is that infinite? What, what came before one? It's a, it's, 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 do you know? No, it's self contradiction. So 0 .9 it's recurring, right? so that's okay, where did 0 0.09? 0 .09. But before 0 0.09, there's 0 0.08. No, no, so, no, that's what I'm saying. So that's. It's a contradiction. Like it's, a, it's a self contradiction. You're going into like, I can't explain it. You're going into extremely complex math. No, I'm not. Because when you say infinite amount, that's a paradox. It's like saying, is that saying married bachelor? You can't be married and at the same time you're single. That's what you're saying. So infinity doesn't exist in the real world. It doesn't. It's just a concept. It's just a concept. So, so can I just... Can it's I just, an abstract. It doesn't like, exist. It's like saying an actual infinite cannot exist. Yeah. A beginningless series of events is an actual infinite. 
so therefore an actual infinite cannot exist. Yeah, so so, take, so a circle, take a circle, right? One second, one second, very good, hold on. So, as the brother, as the brother mentioned, right, you cannot have, if you have an infinite line of soldiers, right, and the first soldier in the line said fire to the last soldier in the line, would the information reach the last soldier in an infinite number of soldiers? Yeah, no, it takes, so the information is travelling for an infinite amount of time. Thank you very much. So therefore, an actual infinite number of things cannot exist. Cannot exist. It's impossible, impossible. It's impossible to say that the first soldier in that line would give the instruction to fire and the last person in that actual infinite no, number of soldiers... you're trying to assign infinity to tangible things. No, what I'm saying is that it leads to a mathematical contradiction. Yeah, correct. That's what I'm trying correct. to say. It's a mathematical it's contradiction. It's impossible for the actual infinite number of things to exist. Correct. So what I'm saying is that... So in your mind, right, we have the universe. What is past the universe? Look, we know that the universe is expanding, right? Into what? Okay. Are you aware that the universe is expanding? Yeah, but I'm asking, like, in your opinion, what is the universe expanding into? Okay. For example, I've given a verse in the Quran, right? Allah says that he is expanding the universe, right? Oh, sorry. Now, no, 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 just, just for a second, just for a second. Forget what the Quran says, what is the universe? Scientifically, right? Bear in mind, I'm already this. By the way, I don't postulate, I, I don't subscribe to the Big Bang. I, 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 don't be, I, don't be, I don't particularly believe in the Big Bang. I know there's different cosmological models behind the Big Bang. There's cosmic inflation, there's, uh, there's the big crunch. I understand that, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? How, it's I don't, a theory. It's a theory. It's a theory. It's a theory. However, one thing I do agree is that the universe has, an ha has its origin. It has a beginning. Okay, sure. By the way, let me just go back That's to that. That's it. Okay, go on. Go on. So, you said the universe is expanding. What is the universe expanding into? No, what I was, what I was if trying... If infinity cannot exist, and the universe... No, the reason why, no, the reason why I was bringing up the, the universe... The reason why I was bringing up um, an actual infinite number of things cannot exist yeah. is purely because it brings about a mathematical contradiction. Yeah, and what, and, hold on I, one I, second. I, I, hold on one second. Bear with me, bear with me. And the reason why I gave you that example earlier, right, that it's impossible for... And I gave you the example about a bow and arrow. A bow and arrow is unable to reach an infinite... It, it, will tra it will traverse, it will, it will literally travel at an infinite distance to reach the Again, tree. Because so you are trying to assign infinity to something tangible. So I mean, just humor me and also the, like, answer okay. the question I asked, right? The universe is expanding. Okay. What is the universe expanding into? Okay, we know that the universe expands. We're not... Okay, but into what? Into what? So say my hands right now, they're expanding into air. What is the universe expanding into? Okay. If the universe was to contract, yeah, right, yeah exactly. Would it come back to a singular point? Yes, it will. Right. So, so it's going away so from that singular point. What's beyond it? What is it going into? That's what we want. We want to ask you. That's what we want. That's that's asking, what we're discussing what about. It, what is that going into? But you're going into evolution. That's exactly no, the point we're trying. That's, that, that's it. Going into Good. Infinity. Now we come to the point. So what came before the Big Bang? That's what. That's what we. That's what we, we are. What came before, so there's, we there's do know. Theories. There, there's, say, I know you don't believe in the Big Bang. But say Big Bang, Big Crunch. One theory is that no, the Big Bang it right. expands. It contracts back into the Big Crunch. Big yes. Bang yes. Again, big yes. Crunch, big Bang, big crunch. And that's a cycle. So what caused the spark? Okay. So if we, if the universe expanded and yeah. contracts, yeah. what caused? that to exist what caused that to literally start to expand yeah what is the what is the origin of that how is the it? origin of the universe we don't know the answer to that question and i don't think it's right let's use a sound reason reason is the answer to that question in my mind that's you don't know the answer to a question so you just say okay no 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 it's the same like dark matter it's something physics. No, we don't understand what that brother, is. What's, what your saying, brother what's your name brother what's your name something that we don't so, understand. sorry brother what's your name sorry yasha 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 yeah. right hard nice to meet you man look let me tell you one thing, right? You saying that we don't know. Yeah. For me, this is a cop out, and I tell you why. If I was to ask you the question, try and cir uh, uh, circular triangle. Can you prove to me that it does it exist? First of all, circular triangle. No. Why not? It's a triangle, it's a triangle, it's a circle, it's a circle. Okay. So what, what, what kind of scientific experiments did you conduct to come to the conclusion that science, uh, a triangular circle we doesn't come exist? To any sound, no, it's the way we've, we've assigned a certain shape to a triangle, we've assigned a certain shape as a circle. Yeah. We haven't tested either of this. What we you can't, you can't even test. It's impossible. We don't need to test it because we've assigned, no, 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 it. According we've assigned to, it to them, we've made it. No, no, according to the scientific method, you cannot, you cannot disprove or prove whether there is triangular circle. That's, not, that's my whole point. So you have to use rationality, reasoning. So why don't we apply the same to the universe? 
So you said my view is a cop out. I actually think the same exact this because Why? I don't I don't know the answer to the start of the universe. But the entire point of science, right? Yeah. Well, not the entire point of science, but a big thing of science is trying to find out. How do you know that? You're so, not to find how out. do you, you said that you already know the? How do you know so trying circular doesn't how exist? You know how do you, how do you know trying circular doesn't exist? What 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 scientific experiments did you conduct? I think you do. Yeah, sure. Look, 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 look. Why do you say that the triangle circle doesn't exist? Because we've assigned this shape to a triangle. We've assigned this shape as a circle, right? Okay. We've assigned those names to those shapes. Okay, so we conceptualize. I agree with that. We uh, we conceptualize that. I agree with that. But why is it not possible? Even if you put it into probabilistic model, why is it not possible that it can exist? It's impossible. Why? Because it goes against sound reasoning. A triangle, a tri sorry, sorry, one second. Yes, look, one second. A triangle, what? You can't prove to me empirically that triangle circle doesn't exist. That's, that's the whole point I'm making. You use your reasoning. That Look, the reason why triangle circle doesn't exist the is... That you, the reason that you can't prove that empirically I can. is because it's impossible. Exactly. Empirical evidence means you need... Like, but, I can use, but I can use empirical evidence for the existence of the creator. I'll give you one example. Look at the signs around you. Look at the signs around you, the trees, the, the universe, the stars, the planets. There's a powerful verse in the Quran, Allah says, Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard, that verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth, waqtila fi layli wal nahar, and in the alternation of night and day, it, it is a sign for those who understand. It is a sign. For example, for example, okay, this, right, this building, I'll tell you what, this building right here, okay. Imagine if I say this building popped from nothing, it just existed itself, what would you say? But that's not my argument. I'm not saying that everything, it's, it's not like there was nothing, right? And then bang, no, no, we, we've already moved on. No, no, we've already now. moved on. But I'm asking you, that building, the, the cements, the, the, the rocks, uh, you know, all of the ingredients, it all came the together. Of those things, right? The origin. Okay, where, okay. where did this come from? The building. Any child would say, oh, there must be a builder. It's your natural inclination. Right, so what about the universe that's far more complex? Look at, the, look at the earth, look at the skies. What about the laws of physics? What about the laws of physics? You cannot, the laws cannot pop from nothing. The law has to be given by a lawgiver. And you know that. You know that from your natural inclination. What you're doing is you're fighting against your natural inclination. That's what you're doing. And even it's in spite of that, even despite of that, even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you rational decisive proofs were they created from nothing you know you cannot create from nothing or did they create themselves that's impossible did you create the heavens of the earth absolutely not because you didn't exist the universe existed way before you but surely they're uncertain when you when you suppress your belief in the existence of the creator anything that you say is uncertain but when you believe that there's the creator you know the certainty I exist, you know this certainty. So Wallahi, mind, this is a sign around you. In my mind, the reason you think that's a certainty is because we've assigned, that, we've assigned religion to describe things that I'm not even talking about religion. Explain, I'm not talking about religion. religion. We, we've used religion to explain things that we cannot explain. No, uh, no, 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 you misunderstood the point. You misunderstood the point. I'm not, pr the reason why I'm quoting from the Quran, I believe the Quran has the best arguments, rational proofs, decisive proof for the existence of the Creator. That, please understand this, that doesn't mean I'm trying to preach that the Quran is the word of God, I'm not saying that. But I'm using arguments from the Quran and the Sunnah, from the teachings of the Prophet, right? That, look, how did the Quran 1400 years ago, this powerful argument that no one can refute, no one can refute, it's supposed to be rhetorical. Were you created from nothing? Of course not. Did you create yourself? Of course not. Did you create the heavens? Of course not. So, so what's the only option that is left? There has to be, there has to be the creator that always existed. No beginning, no end, that has the knowledge to bring the power, uh, to bring the universe into existence. That must have the power to bring the, in, the universe into existence. And must have knowledge, wisdom, power. What you're doing right now, you're fighting against your natural inclination. 